Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra Zado. I am currently working in the Syllable Technologies from India. You can connect me with me on the different platforms on the social media like LinkedIn, YouTube, Upwork. Okay, and I am a Microsoft certified candidate. Okay, so in this <coughs> series, we will learn about the power pages. Okay, uh, I will teach you. Uh, how to solve the problems okay how to become a good developer how to approach the problems okay so this will be learn in this uh, power pages series okay so this is all about me okay so let's see uh, what we are making today okay let's go to the make dot so now we will jump to the home page okay so after logging to the power pages okay uh, you have this interface you can see okay so we will land it to our home page okay now uh, just uh, in the active sites okay all the active sites we can be able to see okay if you have to create a site from the blank so just click on the start from blank okay and uh, complete the process give your name of your site and the address okay now we let's edit our site let's click on the edit uh, it will open the designer studio so our things are getting ready we'll jump to the contact us page and let's preview this so um, this contact us form we are creating here okay giving name to this form let's uh, name ravindra email address j ravindra 553 at the gmail.com message okay Radho. let's inspect this let's click on the submit uh, first we go to the network just clear this and also clear this just click on the submit so our uh, fetch request is pinned and uh, we are sending the response okay our record is saved successfully so this thing we are achieving okay by using the power automate so let's see how to do it let's click on the edit code okay and let's uh, click on the open with visual studio we will jump to this page okay let's uh, remove it uh, we have to create a contact us form okay so in the contact us we will take uh, three inputs okay name <coughs> Uh, email and message okay so let's uh, take the help of bootstrap for you form in bootstrap file so just click on this form controls let's copy this and let's click paste it So <coughs> to click on this just copy and paste you change the name here we take the name so let's change it to the name okay ID we change to the name after that we will change this to the name okay, we have to write a message so yeah let's we click here take a create one sage which let's uh, take yum small message one let's change the idea let's save it uh, let's go to the visual studio and let's sync the code
we are syncing the code means what changes we are done in the power pages okay on the home page we are done this changes okay uh, we will copy this and uh, let's paste to the contact us form okay no problem in hurry i just change this okay so you can be see our uh, name email address email text area and email input are the key here okay so we let's go so here we have form control ready present the okay, text area so we just change this so that we add one button we use this button okay so let's copy paste it here classes for class button primary confirm identity the same yeah so we just change the name here and make it here submit let's make id Let's wrap it around view. So we have to make it in center. So that's why we just uh, wrap it around view. Just name here we just do ID. Make it center this it all right we will save this and let's go games to the power pages and just sync the page. Okay, so you can be see our uh, page is ready. Let's we change the placeholder here. Name, make it name. The ID name. So this will change. Let's uh, make it center. Let's, uh, we have to copy this. Control X. We will go and contact us, paste it here, okay, in fast I just uh, make some changes here, do the control yes, control yes here, let's do the overwrite, and uh, contact us form, let's copy the CSS ID here, okay, center, Let's copy it from here, okay? And just in the CSS by for selecting the ID, we use the hash selector, okay? So we click here. Let's go margin auto margin top ten percent. Let's go that one. Which one? Name to the contact us. Okay. So for now, I am not focusing on the CSS and the HTML part. Okay, mostly I just uh, simply focusing on the how we can be submit data to the backend. Okay, by using the HTTP trigger request. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, see our sim. Sync the code.
okay our code is syncing okay what changes we are done in the contact us form it will display here okay so we have to go to the contact us so our form is in center okay let's uh, make it width a little bit width 70% Okay. Let's sync our code. <coughs> so you can we see our form is created now. Okay. Let's we change here uh, example text area to the name message and name to the capital N. Okay, simply now let's where is contact us. Let's we go uh, message message example text area. Let's we go and make it message. So this is our contact us form. Okay, this is the uh, front end. Okay, HTML content. Okay, mm, so if you have some queries, you can drop me a message. Okay, if you have some suggestions to improve uh, my uh, knowledge sharing ability, uh, always welcome. You can be share with me. Okay, we will uh, make the changes and make it more interactive and more beautiful. Okay, so that's all, friends. Um, Thank you. Uh, let's uh, how to submit the data. We will see in the second part. Okay. So in the second series, you will able to submit this data to the backend. Okay. That's all friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.